Note that it's completely illogical to say that because something is comforting and reassuring and consoling, that makes it true. Um, it's an astonishing fact that people will, many, many people will say, oh, I believe so-and-so because it would be intolerable if it were not so. I, well, you, or you sometimes hear people say, well, I, I tried Christianity, that didn't seem quite right to me. I didn't, I didn't feel right with Christianity, so I, I tried Buddhism and, and I tried um, Hinduism. Um, who cares what you feel like? <laughs> who cares what feels good? Who cares what makes you feel comforted? Who cares what helps you sleep at nights? What matters is what's true. Let, let me uh, try and suggest a kinder, gentler response to that in some sense. Um, the, um, the, w the lesson of science is that the universe doesn't care what you like. And it doesn't care what you want. It is the way it is. And if we could just convince people of that, that would be profound. Nowadays, increasingly, we understand where danger comes from. We know where disease comes from. Uh, we don't know exactly, but approximately. Um, we, we know how to control our, our world to an increasing extent. So we can afford to throw away those superstitions. Unfortunately, enormous numbers of us, the great majority of people on this planet, have failed to wean themselves off these primitive superstitions. Because Richard lives in Oxford, and I have to remind him that people are irrational, as well as rational, that, that I think irrationality is a central part of being human. We need it. Each of us, every day, has to believe 10 impossible things before breakfast. To get up, you have to believe you love your wife, or, your, or, you, or you like your job, or, or whatever it is. And, and, it's, you know, and you're lying to yourself half the time. And, 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 um, but we need it to get through life. And I think it's just, I, I do think there is probably an evolutionary basis of that. At some level, to face with a, a universe that doesn't care about your existence, uh, you, you often have to invent realities just to motivate yourself to go on living. Anyway, Robert Trivers wrote this book um, on self-deception where he makes the point that actually it is an evolutionary advantage to be optimistic and to believe that you're more intelligent than you really are, better looking than you really are, uh, etc. Yeah. Um, and um, the, the, so there is real, real merit in, in what you've said.